Introducing first, the man standing to my left and fighting out of the blue corner. He stands 176 centimeters, five feet, eight inches tall. His official weight, 107.5 kilograms, uneven, 237 pounds. His professional record outstanding at 42 victories, opposite 12 defeats. Please welcome the battle-tested veteran MMA star fighting out of Coconut Creek, Florida, USA, Jeff the Snowman Monson. His opponent stands across the ring to my right and fights out of the red corner. He stands 183 centimeters and six feet tall. His official weight tonight, 108 and one kilograms, uneven 238 pounds. His professional record stellar at 31 victories, opposite four defeats. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome the legendary and famed international MMA superstar regarded by many as the best mixed martial arts of all time, fighting out of Starry Oscar, Russia, Fedor Emelianenko. <laughs> Your referee to give the instructions, Yuji Shimada. Five minutes, three now. No headbutting, no attack throwing, no gloves or lobs. On the ground, no kick the face, and we need to. Okay? Free fight, free fight. Check out. Let's go on. The final instructions by the referee, Yushi Shimada. And this is it. This is what the world has been waiting for. And you, MMA fans all around the country, are going to get a chance to see this phenomenal main event. Fedor, the last emperor, Melanenko taking off the snowman, Jeff Monson. And Melanenko in the black trunks, Monson in the red. Monson operating out of the southpaw stance, and right away, Monson going to try to take it to the ground, just with my announcing partner, Jeremy Horn, said it would go. Yeah, it's unusual. I'm not, I'm not used to seeing Monson fighting in the southpaw stance. I wonder if the, he thinks that's going to give him a benefit to his wrestling ability. And you see the quickness of Melanenko already. Landing that uppercut, trying to throw that uppercut. You see the kick now being set up, trying to soften up the stance of Monson. Don't blink, folks. You're only going to need the very edge of your seat to watch this fight. Fedor is looking very sharp and fast, throwing good, clean, straight shots. Monson having a hard time closing the distance. Look at the concentration on the, in the eyes of Fader and Melanenko. The greatest fighter of all time in the MMA. A decade where he enjoyed supremacy unlike any other fighter in the world. And now he's trying to reclaim all that. Softening up the stance of Monson with those sweeping kicks. But so far, Monson has not been able to get near and Melanenko. Melanenko keeping him at bay with those kicks, Jeremy. Fedor's doing a real good job of just staying calm, throwing shots here and there, and he's reading when Monson's coming at him, and he's just sidestepping, getting out of the way. There's the striking skills of Melanenko being exemplified right there. Mixing it up, you're already seeing blood coming out of the nose of Monson as he has tasted a couple of left hands on that right area of his nose. You hear the crowd now urging on their living legend, Fedor and Melanenko. Even the Prime Minister of Russia, Vladimir Putin. Backing up Monson now. And Melanenko in total concentration. The task at hand, trying to topple this 5'8", 237-pound bowling ball that seems to be coming at you downhill. Two kicks in a row right there again by and Melanenko trying to soften up the stance of Monson. Jeremy, you see the blood now coming from the nose of Monson. Yeah, he's eating more than a few straight shots. Uh, he's doing a real good job, though. He's staying calm, even though he's taking hard shots. He's not, uh, looks like we had a low blow there. Saying that's a low blow, Yushi Shimada. 
Yeah, see, and he's doing a good job of just staying calm and, and trying to stay in his game plan. He's not getting frustrated. He's not flailing. He's just waiting and, and uh, trying to pick his time to look for that takedown. That left kick right around the quad area of Munson. And Munson eventually now trying to go to kick that to the ground. Now, you see Fedor right on top. Yeah, Monson got in tight. Fedor was very fast, got a good reversal out of it. Now he's on top, working out of the half guard. Monson's got that underhook, though. He's going to be uh, looking to turn to his left, I imagine, and try and recover a full guard. And here's with the Sambo skills of Fedor. He would have none of it. He's had success upright with his striking ability, so Fedor goes back up on top. Goes back upright. And there's that left kick, been landing repeatedly. And yeah, Monson's gonna need to try to do something about that. He doesn't want to take too many of those. So what can he do to defend against that there, Jeremy? Well, if he knows that Fedor's gonna continue to throw that low kick, he should try to time that straight left, possibly, um, or just shoot that single when that kick's coming. Uh, the more kicks he takes on that leg, the harder it's gonna be for him to set up that shot. Fedor that time smartly not kicking the outside leg, coming to the inside of the right leg of Monson, mixing it up. Monson trying to get in, but not able to because of that kick. And Melodenko doing a great job of fending him off, keeping him at bay with those kicks in the mouth. Oh, good right hand! Good right hand! That was right on the chin! Definitely, Fedor's doing a good job of capitalizing, getting back on top. Monson's got that underhook, though. Fedor's got to stay busy, or Monson's going to have some time to recover and get back to work. And this is where Monson's jujitsu skills take hold. A master down on the ground there. I think he's going to look for that same thing, try to dive up onto that single. Just and he, again, Emma Lenenko will have none of it. Final 30 seconds of round number one. And again, Monson ain't willing to take the punches to try to get inside on Emma Lenenko and take him down. Yeah, Monson's very tough, but he's got to try to set up that shot a little bit better. He's not going to get him down just shooting cold like that. So this first round has been all. Fader and Melanenko as the final seconds of round number one come to a close. And it's been that kick, that left kick of Fader and Melanenko that has kept Monson at bay. Looks to me like Monson's already limping a little bit as he walks back to his corner. Round number two. Scheduled for three. Fader and Melanenko in the black. Jeff Monson in the red trunks. Good right hand. Good right hand that knocks down Monson. Fedor showing a lot of patience, not diving in. That's how he got caught against uh, Verdum. Dove right in after he hurt him and dove into a triangle. And again, try Monson trying to take down Fader, not able to. Look at the blood now. Now on the lip, as a couple of those right hands now have opened that cut. The lip of Monson now bleeding. Fader goes back to that kick. Now coming with the right rather than the left. First round, I counted 27 kicks by Emelianenko with the left, landing on the right thigh. There's another one. The right thigh of Monson. He was limping. Monson now waiting, trying to get Emelianenko to come down with him. Yeah, both guys actually showing a lot of patience. Fedor's landing his shots and not going to the ground. Monson sticking to his game plan and trying to get him there. Great strategic fight. Fader showing the quickness of hands as he has landed. As a striker, you only have to look at the face of Monson to know how accurate he's been with those shots. Blood from the nose, blood from the lip of Monson. From good right hand! Good right hand, but Monson is, I guess, is trying to get him to come down there. Taking some time. Yeah, I think maybe Monson's decided if he takes a hard shot, he's just gonna just gonna go down with it, hoping that Fader will follow him down because he's having no luck taking him down. Again, a master's degree in psychology. He knows what he's doing. That was Vadim Finkelstein, who was watching right there, the co-founder of M1 Global. That's bringing these type of fights to the world. Now you can see the blood starting to bother Monson, trying to drop that head. But you can see the strength of Monson right there as he had that tremendous leverage right there, Jeremy. Yeah, he's still, uh, Fedor able to just move and, and stay fast and light on his feet, not letting Monson come anywhere near him. Monson, I asked him about his striking capability, and not a great kick. 
Matzik goes underneath that right hand of Melodenko. The thinking man's fighter now, Vladimir Putin. Wonder what he would do with one of his Sambo moves. Maybe get in there and execute one of his patented Harai Goshi move. Monson now tasting his own blood as that blood is coming through his mouth, through his nose. Monson, on the other hand, he's going to have to change content. up his strategy. He can't just keep diving for those legs. He's got to throw some punches or at least shoot when Fedor attacks. That's the only way he's going to get this fight to the ground. Monson may not be able to walk home tonight. He may not be able to walk back to his corner at the end of this round. Again, adrenaline pumped out of Monson, keeping him from feeling that pain, but definitely it's going to cripple him before the night is over. Monson trying to make his way in there. Referee Yushi Shimada bringing him back up. Fade or ever the patient one. Like a striking mongoose. Monson sure, certainly showing how tough he is. A lot of these shots that Fedor is hitting him with would put other people to sleep, and Monson's still hanging in there. So psychological, what does that do to a fighter, though? When here you got a guy taking everything you got. You know, it, it can change. Some people get disheartened. Uh, I used to train with a guy years ago that when somebody took his best shots, he just smiled because that many got to keep hitting him. Monson right now, face covered with blood, showing the marksmanship of the striking ability of Fader and Melanenko. Shouting now. I love the instructions being shouted to Fader. They're in English. Yeah, I, I noticed that. That's unusual. They're calling for that outside low kick and asking him to put his hands up. It's in English. Another right hand on the lip. Great now let's see if Monson can succeed. But again, Fedor's so good at leverage. Yeah, Monson's right into that half guard. This is where he, he wanted to be. It's something he was looking for. He's got to get busy, though, or Fedor's going to step up out of it again. Monson trying to get his leg into it, but not able to. Final seconds now of round number two. Uh, Maybe too, too late here for too Monson. Late. Yeah, absolutely. In a decent spot there, but just not, not able to make anything of it. This is round number three. The third and final round, as they shake hands, Jeff Monson in the red trunks, Fader, the last Emperor Melanenko in the black. It has been that left kick that's gonna render Jeff Monson cripple here before the end night is over. Trying for a big uppercut was that Melanenko, not changing the angles of his shots. Fader's looking really fast and really sharp with those punches, throwing right down the middle, staying very calm, keeping distance, backing up. Trying to end it. And there's that throwing technique. Maybe he learned that from the Prime Minister. Yeah, he's just sidestepping and shucking him off. He doesn't want to have any part of him on the ground. He's doing well on his feet and wants to keep it there. Good right hand right on the bridge of the nose of Munson right there by Fader. These are four ounce gloves. And they hurt when they land. Absolutely, yeah. It doesn't, it doesn't feel good to get hit with gloves that are that small, especially when you got somebody like uh, Fader throwing the punches. Still sticking with that left leg that has not been able to make, allow Munson to get in. And now Munson comes in with a kick. And down goes Munson off that Sambo, combat Sambo move right there by Fedor Melanenko. Yeah, that's something that Fedor's done in the past real well. He's uh, just a knee tap, and that works real well for him. And look now, that leg, that leg now is just barely hanging there now from those shots. He's doing a real good job throwing kicks, but not, not going to it too much. He's mixing his hands in there. So Monson has to respect both and can't really give either one of them the attention they need to, to stop it. And that's it. That, I'm telling you, that leg is going to be absolutely rendered helpless. Yeah, absolutely. He, went he could barely get up on that leg. Yeah, he, he was having a real hard time standing up on that leg. That on the... That was brushing the lip right there, Munson. Another right hand by Fader.
And it's almost like it's a heavy bag in front of him right now for Fader. Except the heavy bag is named Jeff Monson. <laughs> Yeah, he's, he's able to do whatever he wants here. Uh, he, I think he's kind of figured Jeff out when he's going to shoot, how he's going to shoot, that type of thing. And granted, with that leg not working as well as it did at the start of the fight, it's going to have an easier time. The car, corner of Monson now yelling the time to him. Yeah, he, he needs to try to time something on those kicks or those punches. Um, shoot on that kick or maybe clinch on those punches. But uh, he, like I said, he's not going to get it, just uh, letting Fedor beat him up and then shoot him cold every once in a while. And Jeremy, that overhand right that now comes with the uppercut, but the overhand right that Fedor throws so hard to see. Oh, absolutely. Uh, like I said, he, he's incredibly fast, and uh, this time he's throwing right down the middle, which I'm sure is catching people off guard. Normally, he throws that right hand over the top real wild. He's coming right down the middle with it this time. And I like the position of his shoulders when he throws these shots, because he's not lunging. Not lunging at all. Yeah, like I said, he's doing a real good job positionally, just stepping in, throwing throwing those shots, and then keeping his distance. A lot of guys will throw that shot and then just charge in because they're not paying attention to their distance. Now, they're going to ask. He's asking for the doctor. Yeah, the doctor to come in and examine him because that lip is badly cut. There's blood coming underneath, on inside. Okay. Yeah, it looks like he's got a cut on the outside of his lip. Possibly uh, some teeth coming through from the inside. Fader just content on waiting and Nabadi now, the doctor now, making his way. But meanwhile, though, the corner of Munson has had time to have that blood stop. Doctor looking at it right now. Yeah, they're supposed to just clear the blood away and let the doctor take a look at it, let the doctor assess whether or not he can continue to fight. Referee Yushi Shimai, let's see some of the action here in round number three, trying to get a takedown of Jeff Monson. Yeah, like I said, uh, Fedor's just too quick. He's stepping aside. Monson's not setting it up at all. He's just diving in. And uh, like I said, Fedor's a great wrestler himself, so he's able to sprawl out on those, and, and uh, Jeff's not coming anywhere near it. Looks like they're going to restart the fight. The blood's going to keep running, but it's well below his lip. It's not going to be a problem. Doctor saying to continue. The blood wipe, not all of it, as it's still bleeding. Now let's see if Jeff Monson now has a sense of urges to just go in there and try to take down Fader once and for all. Now Monson's actually moving and avoiding that low kick. Might be a little too late, though. That leg is already trashed. Trying to come in with that overhand right is Monson. Too far. Yeah, there's no spring left in that leg. Fader on the other hand's a hand. Still as quick as ever. There you go. Now he got closer to getting a hold of that leg. He actually shot when Fedor kicked. But again, I think that leg is just going to be too far gone to be of any use. But great job again by Fedor anticipating that and splatting his body in a way that to be able to go ahead and let the bull rush of Monson be useless. Boy, some kind of heart, though, by Monson. Boy, this guy could take a shot. Definitely. And Fedor's still sticking to his game plan. You know, as hurt as Monson is, you know he wants to step in and just go nuts and try to finish him. But uh, he's staying calm, he's staying busy, and he's winning the fight, and he's hurting Monson. The final seconds of the third and final round, Jeff Monson has taken a beating. It has been the now the combinations here by Fedor landing. Now Fedor's Monson trying to go back down, trying to get a takedown, Jeremy. Monson's picking, uh, Fedor's picking it up a little bit, but Monson's not going to shoot. So Fedor's going to have to back off a little bit. The face of Monson is a mess. Now there's blood on top of Fedor's head, and that's it. The Emperor is back.
Much to the delight of the crowd here in Moscow, Fader and Melanenko now gets his 30-second win. And people making their way there before that bottom, Finkelstein making his way into the ring to congratulate Fader and Melanenko. Finally, his wife now coming into the ring. And there he is, Vladimir Putin, the man who himself has a red and white belt in Sambo, a very accomplished fighter himself during his KGB days. And for the people here in Moscow, a dream come true, the chance to go ahead and see their fighter here fighting before them and putting on an awesome performance as he took on Jeff Monson and he took the right leg out of Jeff Monson and finally after that worked his strikes and bloodied up Jeff Monson. M1 Global.